Um, then I got the Rep Fitness Curl Bar. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Garage Gym Gains, home of the daily gym tours. That's where I go on and react to your, your guys' home gym tours. So if you have a home gym and you want to be on the channel, record a video of it horizontally. You could talk or not talk. It's up to you. Post it to YouTube and send me the link on Instagram or via Gmail. I'll probably have all that stuff down below, but if I forget, just comment and I'll try to reply to it. But today we're checking out Milos. We're checking out his home gym. I'm not sure if it's a, actually, it is a basement gym. It's gonna be featuring some Elite FTS, some Rogue, some Rep, a little bit of everything, and it comes in at around $6,000. He's had it since 2018, so he's at least had a few years on the game. So I'm, I'm excited to check that out. In the future, we will be doing other like equipment reviews, discussion videos, that type of thing, like I used to do a lot of, but Full disclosure, uh, pretty busy right now. Get married next weekend, then we have our honeymoon. And yeah, it's been a little bit tough with planning for all that stuff. And we're also helping open another commercial gym. So long story short, don't have a lot of time. These are a little bit quicker and everybody seems to be liking them and I enjoy doing them. So we're gonna keep doing it. And once I have some more time or sprinkled throughout, we'll have some of the old school videos, but. Yeah, let's see what uh, Milos has to say, shall we? Hi, Garage Gym Games community. My name is Milos, and this is my Garage Gym Tour. So let's check it out. Okay, let's, let's start check the it tour. Um, so when you walk in, you can see the centerpiece of the gym. It's the power rack. This power rack is from Elite FTS. It's the Scholastic power rack. Okay, so I probably don't need to say this because most of you probably already know, Elite FTS makes some really seriously high quality stuff. It is a little pricey, or at least it can be. Uh, I'm not sure where the Scholastic Rack falls on their spectrum of racks. I wanna say it's maybe the second tier. They might have some type of like garage line, the Scholastic, uh, and there's a collegiate or something. I could be completely off, like I said, I've never really actually used their uh, squat racks before, but they're pretty legit as far as I can tell, everything that I've heard. And this is the first one that we've seen on the channel. Um, it's a three hole post design. And I got a monkey chin up bar up there. I got a low ceiling, so I inverted it so I can do some pull ups. Um, and then there's safety pins. And what I really like about this rack is the weight storage. So it's out of the way so I can bench and uh, yeah, bench easily and not worry about bumping the weights. I did have Titan X3 rack before this. Uh, I didn't really like the flat foot design because it kind of made the rack unstable. So I like this. Uh, six post design a lot better it's a lot more stable uh, to the ground because the uh, the garage uh, I, I have a basement gym but it, it's a little bit uneven but having the post design will kind of adjust to it so six post racks are definitely going to be a lot more stable especially if you use the weight storage uh, and you have some weight on there it's going to weigh every day thing down it's gonna be a lot more sturdy when you go in to rack the bar or what have you. So yeah, if you can get a six post rack and you have the room for it, I would totally recommend it. Not only from it being more stable, but also you have a place to store your weights, which is cool. Uh, I do I do really like that three inch uh, post design because it's a lot easier to adjust between squat and the bench and um, I don't really care about adding any more attachments to it. So, uh, so side holes don't really matter to me. Uh, I did upgrade to these J cups, sandwich J cups from, uh, this is from Williams Strength Sports, I believe, uh, which Elite EFTS uh, gets all their stuff made from them. But it's really, they're really nice. The UHMW is really hard, plastic, and it'll last a long time, and they're really heavy duty. 
Jacobs. Moving on, uh, I have some uh, weights here. They're rubber coated from Iron Master weights. I, I got uh, four sets of uh, 45s, uh, set of 25s, and over, over there I got some, um, as you can see over there, I got another set of 25s, but I got those from Bells of Steel. And they're really nice plates too. I just kind of use them for some accessory work. Um, but I really like these rubber coated plates, especially because uh, iron plates cause a lot of noise. So these kind of are really quiet when deadlifting or doing other movements. And I'm not going to wake my. All right, moving on. I got some chains here. Chains are, the chains are from. Elite FDS, but I got the Rogue uh, sleeves for it, so it's a little bit quieter. Uh, I felt like chains without the covering are really loud, so they're going to wake my babies up. I had no idea that chain covers were a thing. It makes total sense. I kind of get annoyed uh, when people are using them in the gym. It's just excessively loud, especially when it's on concrete. Um, really, when they're just doing it, to use them without a purpose specifically, but that's a whole nother story. However, if you got some sleeves on there, it'd make it a little quieter, win-win. I got this uh, hook right here from Etsy actually. Um, and it just, it holds it pretty good. It's heavy duty and it was only like 15 bucks. Uh, normally this hook is used to hang chainsaws, but I'm using it for my chains. Uh, over here, I got some belts, some bands. Um, I got this uh, tricep. Cody, I've got the sour warhead or the sour watermelon warhead flavor. If you guys haven't seen Cody's, uh, Cody Medina, he had the powerlifting gym a couple videos ago. He has a tasting, a taste testing of them with his buddy. It's pretty entertaining. You should check it out. But have a Titan rack hanger, which is essentially the same thing as Rogue. Uh, it just says Titan instead of Rogue, and it's, I would assume, substantially cheaper. So, what do we have on here? Um, pull down attachment from Black Widow Training Gear. Um, Black Widow Training Gear, or Black Widow TG, or whatever their Instagram is on their website, they have some pretty legit cable attachments and row attachments and a few different things. I believe they have some neutral grip bars as well, multi grip bars. I haven't tried any of their stuff, but it looks seriously legit. Uh, real well made it looks. Everything I've heard about it has been positive. So if you're in the market for something like that, definitely check them out. They don't get a lot of street cred or, or as far as, uh, what's the word? They don't have a lot of clout actually. That's a good word that is kind of fitting with the times, but they should because they make legit stuff. So yeah, check them out. These are really nice from Elite FTS and inexpensive for hanging uh, leg raises. I got some belts. I got a rogue belt and I got uh, this belt is from Bells of Steel. It's for uh, used for belt squats. It's really nice. Uh, I really like it. I got some bands are from Elite FTS and I got the Titan uh, hanger. It's a pretty well made piece of Titan equipment. So it was free shipping, 20, around 25 bucks. So a pretty good deal. And I got some other stuff like the spudding pulley system. Uh, I use that pretty on a regular basis, pretty much. Then moving on over here, I got some other stuff, miscellaneous stuff. I got uh, these are uh, from Black Widow Training Gear. I really like this attachment uh, for my landmine uh, to work the back. It's like a multi-grip attachment for the landmine. Uh, the power coat's really nice and grippy. Uh, the landmine attachment from uh, Black Widow Training Gear. And I okay, I really like that first attachment. That thing is sweet. I might need to get it. I'll have to check to see what the pricing is on it. Uh, but I could definitely use that. 
I don't do a lot of landmine work right now, mostly because I don't like the attachment that I, that I have. I have the Titan close grip. Not that big of a fan. I think I would like that a lot more. I should check it out. I got the uh, row handle from them as well. Uh, I got some kettlebells here, uh, just for some kettlebell swings or some shoulder, shoulder work, um, shoulder presses and other stuff. And I really like this piece from Elite FTS. It's called uh, uh, Bell Squat Attachment for a Landmine. It works pretty well. It's inexpensive. I was debating between this and the actual machine from like Bells of Steel, but it would just take up way too much space and this you can just tuck in a corner. Works pretty well. Uh, I got some dumbbells, not a huge collection. Uh, I just kind of add to it as I go. It's just 20s to 35s right now, just to do some accessory work, um, some uh, shoulder mobility stuff, etc. Don't use them a whole lot. And I got a chalk bowl right here for chalk, just not to make it too messy. Let's see. Oh yeah, the the bench is. I got two benches. One, uh, this is a competition flat bench, and then I got the incline bench from Rep. I don't know the exact names, but I really like both of these benches. They're very sturdy. I had the cheaper one from Titan before, and I sold it uh, because it was just way too unstable. But I really you already know how I feel about Rep Fitness Benches. They're fantastic, great value. If you shop through the link down below, helps out the channel. Uh, they're sweet. I've never really heard anybody complain about Rep Fitness Benches. I really like this bench, as well as their flat competition bench. Uh, it's really nice for a uh, bench, for doing bench press and other stuff. I got, I got the sh shoes right here from Adidas for squatting and deadlifting. And I got the Bells of Steel crash pads or silencer pads for when doing rack pulls. Uh, or um, you can even use them for, uh, for if you wanna make floor press a lot more uh, comfortable, you can use it for that too. Even some box jumps, it's pretty sturdy because uh, this has Velcro here, so it, it sticks together. And probably my favorite part of the gym is the wall of bars. I got hey. uh, I got a bunch of bars. My wife tells me I gotta stop buying bars, <laughs> but I I think I'm pretty much done. Maybe one or two more, and that's it. Uh, so I got the two tsunami lat lat bar. Uh, I really like that, but I really like it. It um, engages the lats pretty good. I, I use it with the spud uh, ink pulley system. Um, then I got the Rep Fitness Curl Bar. It, I got it in just this week actually, so I haven't got to use it too much, but I like it because it's rackable. Uh, I do wish the Nero was a little bit more aggressive on it, uh, but it, it works or if the neural went all the way around, it would be a little bit better, but it works and the price is decent. I really didn't want to spend $300 on the, on the curl bar from Rogue. That would have been my other choice. I got the, this is the Texas, Texas Power Bar right here. I love this bar. It's probably one of my favorite bars. I use it for everything, bench, deadlift, squat, um, the neural is insanely good and I had it for about two years and looks almost the same. I don't do too much maintenance on it. Maybe like once every three or four months, just kind of get the chalk off and oil it and it looks pretty, pretty damn new. So, uh, I got the rogue deadlift bar from a bone, bone yard section, bone yard. Bone yard section. I love this bar too. I use it mostly for deadlifts because it's a deadlift bar. Uh, Neural is also insanely good, and I like the extra little extra whip on it. Um, 
and it was a crazy good price. These two bars were almost, I, I think this bar was actually less than my Texas dead, uh, Texas Power Bar, cost less. Uh, so it's, check out the Boneyard section. It's, uh, they got great deals on there. So I got the uh, Bells of Steel, the SS3 safety squat bar. Uh, I also like this bar. They upgraded the padding, it's really nice and thick and comfortable. Uh, some people are complaining that it doesn't fit three by three racks. It, it fits mine uh, because I got the uh, sandwich J cups and the sleeves look a little bit short, but actually it's the same loadable, almost the same loadable length as my uh, Texas Power Bar, so I, it, it, it works. Uh, I don't go crazy heavy on it anyways, but I really like it for squats. Uh, this is from, the axle is from Black Widow Training Gear. I use that every once in a while for some axle deadlifts. And I got the Elite FTS. American Camber Bar. I really like this bar for short shoulder health, for pressing. Uh, it's a really nice bar. Uh, I would definitely add it to anybody's arsenal. It kind of gives you a little bit more variation when doing benches, so you're just not doing straight bar. My shoulders are pretty banged up, and after using this for a couple of months, I they feel a little bit better. Okay, got some. Other stuff here, I got the cardio equipment. Uh, so this is, I don't really, I'm not really sure what brand this is, but it works, it's elliptical. I don't do a ton of cardio, it's mostly for my wife. Uh, I really like this piece right here. Uh, this is a, a dip station. It's from Circle City Racks. They're from Indiana. That's pretty affordable and pretty sturdy. Uh, if you want to do dips, uh, I did have the the dip attachment for the rack before. Uh, I kind of found found that it was like too diff, too much pain in the butt to move around and attach, and it was it wasn't as sturdy. This one's super sturdy, and it just stuck in a corner. Doesn't take a ton of space up, uh, so I really like it. I got some stuff for the mats for the kids and some cubes for the kids as well. And some extra stall mats that I cut up just to use for uh, as a deadlift blocks. Uh, just I bought I bought these from Blaine's Farm and Fleet and cut them up. These are three quarters of an inch. What I have in the gym is mostly half an inch thick. I found it a little bit easier to cut and move around, and it, it works. Um, and, and I really like it. Uh, everywhere because I can deadlift everywhere, lift everywhere, drop weight. And then we got some, um, I got a Titan medicine ball and then uh, some DIY sandbag that I made. I don't use it as much as I should, but it was, I made it for 20 bucks. All right, that was my tour of my gym. Uh, oh yeah, I got some collars right here. Some axle collars and then some regular HQ rope collars. That's that's the gym, guys. Uh, let me know what you think. I am waiting for one more piece of equipment that's gonna go right here. And I gotta move that dip stand. It's the lap tower from Titan Fitness. I ordered it on back order. Uh, I think that's gonna be my last major piece of equipment in this gym, and I'm pretty much done. Uh, I really like the empty space right here, uh, just because I can uh, move that bench and do some raises and other accessory work without hitting the walls. So it's just for miscellaneous stuff right here and then kids can play here as well. But this is my main lifting area right here with the rack. And like I said, I uh, really like this rack because it has weight storage, it's very sturdy, three by three inch, uh, probably a little bit of overkill. Um, I wish it had some band pegs on the bottom. I guess I could drill some holes and add that in, but uh, it's just, I love this rack. 
All right, peace out. Right on, Milos. Thank you for letting us check out your home gym. Very cool. The one thing that I was thinking as we were watching that, uh, the only thing that I was thinking you were missing is some type of lat pull down, uh, high low row, cable station, whatever. But you said it is back ordered, it is on the way. So, very excited for you. Once you get that in there, that's going to be. I mean, you said you're going to be pretty much done. I, I doubt it because that's how home gyms are. You kind of just keep finding things as you go along. But you're totally going to have all the, really all the necessities covered and then some. So props to you. I really like your barbell selection. I need to try out some of those Black Widow uh, attachments and rows and stuff like that. They look pretty legit. I think it's a smaller company. Um, but everything that I see on their website looks... Like I said, pretty legit, so I might need to check that out. But again, thank you for letting us check out the gym. If you like this video, hit a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Daily gym tours and then videos on top of that uh, once I get a little bit more time. But comment down below your favorite part about Milos's home gym. If you have a home gym, like I said earlier, record it and send it to me so I can feature it. Yeah, follow us on Instagram. Garage underscore gym underscore gains. I'm going to start posting there more regularly, but it's also a good way to get a hold of me if you have any questions, comments, what have you. I reply to all the DMs. Website, garagegymgains.com. We still have a couple. I think there's three logo banners left. So if you want one, hop on it soon because they're going to be gone, and I don't know if I'll order them again. I'll probably do other banners in the future, but they're just going to be different. Uh, so limited run. Get them while they're hot. And until next time, I'm going to finish off this uh, Ghost Warheads drink here and then start cleaning the house because the fiance is gone and I've already got a honeydew list. So So that'll be fun. All right.